Hey, what's up, guys? We're live here at the LA Sparks Weekly Post Game Show after LA returns for the second part of the season and drop another game, 73 to 70 in Minnesota. And guess what? Lexi Brown is back, and she is not the only one back. Guess who else is back with us? DJ Tracy Treese, y'all. What's going on? Hey, what's up? And you know who I am, Michael Matthew, here for you, ready to talk this game. I, I'm so ready for this one tonight, Me too. Man. Oh, I'm man. excited. What, what a comeback. I thought they were going to pull through, but it still didn't happen. I got some things for you, Coach. But we'll uh, wait for that. Yeah, you know, yeah, guys, we are actually a few minutes away or seconds uh, coming up because we will have the coach live with us here on the show. So stay mm -hmm. tuned because we're going to go ahead and get to them and the players as well. Uh, Michael, real quick, man. Mm -hmm. um, Lexi's Brown's back. She's Finally, back on the court. She plays. She ball. We saw her, and she looks like, you know, it's going to take some time. Right. But she's that piece. That I don't see been, no time. That they've I been see, missing. No, I yeah, saw. She's a baller. She, she's ready to go. Um, I don't get why she didn't start, but maybe that was, like, the plan coming in. Like, hey, we're going to kind of, like, you know, bring you in slowly. But uh, Lexi is a baller. She yeah. gives them that guard. Lasia Clarendon is a baller. She, they, they bring those two guard pieces that they needed to help this team win. Uh, they just got down real, real fast, you know, in a hurry. 20 points. But, you know, once Lexi started the second half, it was like, all right, let, let's get something going. And Lexi did her thing. She did. BJ, is this something that we're going to see now? Now that Lexi's back, Clarendon's back, like the excitement of this game, the yeah. comeback part, yep. that was very important because they show fight and toughness yep. in the third quarter to start off. I don't think that the Sparks lost this game. I think that we we should just ignore the score because this was a win, y'all. The gang is back together, yes. are they not? Laisha was playing well. Lexi was playing well. Carly still ball. You know what I mean? We saw some minutes from Ray. You should be happy about yeah. that. You weren't in the studio watching <laughs> it with us, but I was like, Michael will be happy with that. Oh, I, I think excited. that this change in momentum for the second half of the season really is going to uh, be needed for our playoff run. Yeah, I mean, a big piece today was, I think, the Erica Hamby. The Erica Hamby just didn't really have it going mm -hmm. today. Um, yeah. And we saw her throughout the fourth quarter. We, we we saw Coach not do any changes for the first eight and a half minutes in the fourth quarter. And yeah. it seemed like until they gave up a 12-0 run 12 late in the fourth quarter, which just kind of demolished the team's kind of energy, it seemed like. Um, but Michael, with with Ray Burrell, you know she was playing very good before yeah. she got taken out of the ball game for the slap. Huh? For, for, yeah, she you know. slapped that girl. <laughs> <laughs> you know that, that was, was a a, that foul. was a pretty heavy yeah. slap. But thankfully they did not review that. There yep. was no harm, no foul kind yep. of thing. But uh, dude, how much more can Coach do? Like you know the movements, the changes, the subs, ins and outs at certain key times, which is very important. I think he has to decide what he wants from this team. You know. Is this a team that's trying, like, we want to make the playoffs, we have to make the playoffs? If that's the case, that's why you have the big minutes for Carly. That's why you should play the minutes for Jasmine. If you're like, hey, if we get in the playoffs, good, but we're not really pushing, pushing hard for it, you got to play the young ladies to see what you can have for, you know, next season. And if you do make the playoffs with these young players playing, that, hey, we got some young pieces that are going to get some playoff experience, and we're going to play them. So that's why... I, I hope to see more of Ray. Uh, I hope to see Zaya only play four minutes. You hope to see more of Zaya. You have to force feed these player men, these players minutes. And if they struggle, it's just a part of the growing experience. I think that we didn't get beat by the Minnesota Lynx. We got beat by Nafisa Collier. And uh, that's why I say that the Sparks didn't lose. So okay. you can't really strike it out because really she's just a baller. You feel Seven me? Seven and 14, they lost. They put another L on their record. That's is that? a conspiracy. Is that six or seven straight? No. It's seven. This is the seventh seven, loss. So seven yeah. straight loss. It's tough, man. It's but tough. you know what else is tougher? Because we see that they actually they fought out there. Yeah. And, you know, seeing what Coach and GM Karen Bryan, you know, they had a press conference yesterday to talk to the media, and they said, hey, look, our, it, tanking is not in our DNA. Yeah. And yeah. it seems like, you know, well, because some, someone asked them a question, like, hey, you haven't gotten a – um, um, a lottery pick in a while. Like, are you excited? Maybe the possibility of having a lottery pick. They're like, well, you know, we're not thinking about tanking. We still think that we can make a late push. And yeah. Yeah. seeing the way they started the game after having a week off or so mm -hmm. kind of showed me that, well, I mean, <laughs> everyone seems healthy now. Yeah. Everyone, even though they might be on restrictions, on yeah. limited restrictions. But, I mean, why not start Lexi Brown, like you said? Yeah, you know? that, so that's why I'm thinking that, you you know, you start – like, this is the first game. You kind of yeah. take this, this lump. But the next game, I'm like, hey, 
Let's let's at least give us five five to seven games of really pushing for the playoff. Let's start Lasia. Let's yep. start uh, Lexi Brown. Let's start you know Carly, uh, Dierica, and uh, Neca, and say let's let's go at our Azure since she's. Balling. I was gonna say we should we should definitely start Azure yeah, over Azaray's Dierica right now. Yeah. Yes, I would like to Agreed. see Dierica yeah. off the bench yep. with Lasia start the guards like yep. you said, Lexi, Lasia, yep. Jordan, Canada, mm-hmm. Neca. And uh, as a ray, as a ray, that's yeah. the five. That's, yeah, your that's, starting five. that's your five. So let them play and come out to start early. Off Offensively, the bench, you have Dierica to be a backup big. Uh, you put in Ray to play some wing play, and then Zaya Cook, and then figure it out from there. Yep. Oh, uh, then you know, Carly can get minutes because I love Carly. She's hardworking, she, she has a reason that she makes she's athletic, lead. but when she's not making shots, she's a tough player to have out there. 27 minutes. Uh, she only scored about three points, I believe. So it's like if she's not making shots, she's not a lockdown defender. Yeah. We saw she's not really a player that can do stuff off the dribble. She had a couple bad turnovers late when the team made that, that run. That travel. So that's what I'm like. Let these young players play and figure it out on the court. Trust your vets. Lexi's back. Yep. Asia's back. Neca's there. Azaray has picked it up. Trust them four to lead the way and lead these young players and get them some minutes and try to pick up victories that way. Yeah, um, definitely. They should do that. And, of course, right now we're just a few minutes away from having uh, Coach Kurt Miller join us here live on the show. You guys can go ahead and see and see what he has to say after this uh, pretty – Kind of, I, I guess, like you said, it's not really much. It's of a not loss. really it's a, a loss. Win. It's it's definitely a positive push right. in the right direction statistically for us. Like we didn't score that well off of the the field goals, but yeah. luckily neither did Minnesota in the so, second half. In but the second half, first half they balled out. Second half, uh, they didn't. But what, what right. made it tough was that. Um, you know, this is four loss to, uh, yeah. to the Lynx. So check this out, guys. We'll have Coach Kurt Miller uh, here live on the show right now. He'll be answering some questions to the media. So let's see what he has to say. Um, you know, a lot of character by our team in that second half come out. They took um, just really struggled to score in that first half, even though we had some open shots. So really proud of their character and effort in the second half. Big momentum swing when we got up seven, 68, 61, a couple plays, saved the ball underneath our basket, a couple, a turnover, and all of a sudden that momentum, a seven point lead was gone um, and just couldn't get to the finish line. But again, happy with some of the players that are back. Um, again, we're just going to get better and better as we get back these players and get some playing time under their belt. Um, and, you know, a tough one for them to swallow tonight when we came all the way back would have been a fun story. Um, Amani, here first. Hi, Coach. Amani right from Winsider. Uh, my question for you is, Ray Burrell tonight, she was hustling, she was boxing out, she was doing all the little things. Could you talk about her performance tonight? Yeah, she gave us energy, um, especially in that third quarter, making a run, a couple big box outs, defensive rebounds to finish plays and allow us to get running. Uh, made an open three, which was big for us. So just gave us some um, energy. Um, you know, again, uh, we needed some of that energy off the bench and, and, you know, pleased with the way, you know, she sparked us. Rashawn. Hey, Coach. I just wanted to know what you saw from from Lasia being in the starting lineup and and what Lexi was able to give you off the bench and and where, was there a, min, a minutes restriction for either? Yeah, Lasia uh, was under a minute restriction. We had to keep her where she was. She landed right about what it is. Uh, Lexi had a minute restriction to evaluate at. We got to that and um, they allowed us to keep going because she was feeling well. So. A little bit more extended minutes than we may have thought for Lexi off the bench, but that bodes well because she was feeling okay. Thank you. Uh, Infanity TV. Hey, Coach uh, Michael here with uh, Infanity TV. Um, my question for you is, you know, second quarter, they uh, won that quarter 28-10. Third quarter, you guys came out 26 and uh, uh, to 11. What did you guys do to make that quick adjustment to get you guys back in this game? Yeah, we just talked about some schematic things, but more than anything is that we we were getting open shots and we just needed to knock them down in the first half. We didn't we were sharing the ball as well as we had um, you know, all year with some of the things going into this game we wanted to look at. So 
um, just disappointed we couldn't make some shots in that first half. Um, again, regrouped, halftime, took a deep breath, and that third quarter obviously was much better, and we were much more competitive at the defensive end. After we just listened to what Coach said, it yeah. seemed like he was a little aggravated with the situation that he wanted to win, but he said all the same things that we were just talking about. Yeah. Right. Shout out to Amani uh, Winsider because she asked the Ray Burrell question, and I just think that she's neat. I think that her energy – is really good for this team because when you look at the team, uh, when it comes to the wing play, they don't really have any just like like rangy athletes at all, and she fits that mold. So that's why I would like to see her play more. But man, it, this is the first game they actually came out and won the first quarter, which is yep. great. It's just like man, yeah, by see, one though, yeah, by <laughs> one point. But just to see such a terrible second quarter, it's like okay, I don't know what's going yeah, on. Yeah, something went wrong. Dad. Yeah, something. something went wrong. Then third quarter, you come out and you you put a smack into them. Uh, like you said, it would have been a great, great story if they would have been able to pick up the victory. But one of those tough L's to take because this is the team, the Lynx is the team that's in front of them by now two games, and then they have the tiebreaker by be beating them 4-0 during the season. So, yeah. you know, tough loss. Yeah, well, oh, go, go ahead. Go I ahead. was also going to talk about Jazz. She played five minutes yeah. of the game and didn't produce any points there too. So are we down a guard in, in terms of having somebody who can help? Let me tell you, when I played ball in high school, my coach said either you're a plus or a minus. Because if you're in the middle, you're a minus, you know? Yeah. So if a player's not giving you anything, that's a minus. Yeah. And right now, she's not really giving them much. So I would prefer those minutes to be placed elsewhere. She's coming off an ACL season. Yeah. A player who has been a baller for pretty much her whole career. So the expectation wasn't for her to come back this year and be looking like, you know, the 10 point a games player that she is. So this should be a year to say, hey, it's just not working. We're going to use more of your leadership, mentorship towards yep. Zaya, towards, you know, some of the younger guards. So I will kind of just, just give her that, like, you're another coach. Yeah. You know, if you're an emergency player, if we need you because something happens to Lasia, something happened to Jordan or Zaya or Ray or Carly, then we'll get you in there. But right now she's, she's not giving anything to the team. Right. I think her her veteran uh, leadership presence is more important than anything else right yeah, now, for sure. Especially mm -hmm. to the whole team, but you know we are a few minutes away from having some two of the Sparks players joining us here on the LA Sparks Weekly Post Game Show. But one thing I do want to talk about, which is somewhat very important, I just want to uh, make sure that this is clear for everyone right now. Lexi Brown is back and fully healthy, according to your coach right now. What he said that, you know, she was on a, a minute restriction, yeah, but it seemed like sh she got reevaluated and she is good. She's There's, balling. Yeah, she's she balling. So there was threes. no reason yeah. to restrict her. So yeah. that's a good, good sign yeah. moving forward. Yeah. So, yeah. So you hope that, you know, next game today, she was at 20 minutes. You're hoping next game she's around, you know, 27, 29 minutes yep. where she was prior to uh, the health issue. Because they need her, man. They and need her so bad. Make, her I'm, and Laser. Yeah, I'm telling you, they can make. They're not gonna make a run up the standings and be top three or anything like that. How? But how, why don't we believe that? They just it, the top it, three be, teams yeah, are. Yeah, it'll be too difficult. You got yeah. Washington up there, and you got you know New York, Connecticut, Connecticut. You know, but I, 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 I won't be surprised if I see them jump to the six or no, six. Yeah, because they got a wild they card. They can factor. do it, and if they can get in there, they're gonna be a tough out, especially if they gain confidence. Yep. You know, because Neca, a top ten WNBA player, is there. Yep. Lexi was looking like an all star before you know what happened to her. Then Lasia is somebody that's a positive. Jordan Canada. Is she balling. could explode at any moment. Yeah. JC is has mm -hmm. like a hair and trigger you never know I, the whole game i was watching i'm like man she could go off at any yeah. moment and really save the game for us but well, well guess what three of their next games coming up is one in dallas okay. and two against indiana here in la okay that's, so that's two okay. in indiana we can yeah, body in <laughs> That can be three Hopefully. easy wins before uh, but not easy because dallas but, nah. still got some ballers they just beat uh, who do they beat? Vegas, I yeah. believe. Yeah, they're the only team that's beating yeah. Vegas and New York. Yeah, they're yeah, the only team yeah. this season they, to do they that. They scrappy yeah. though because they got Arike and they got yeah. Satu. So I mean, yeah. they got two people yeah, who gonna that ball. Dude, they gonna be tough. But the Sparks been able to take care of them. So hopefully that'll be a good comeback win. Then you know you look at Indiana, they have a of Boston. You're like, hey, they're having an go. awful year yeah. though. So we're let's gonna we need to capitalize yes. on that. They but guess to. what? After that, you got two at home against the Liberty. Yeah, which is going to so, be crazy. I, I just want to see. I'm there for the vibe. Get a win. <laughs> they got to get a win. They, if they can split yeah. one yeah. out of those two, that yeah. would be amazing. Um, yeah. That would definitely so work that's out on why, their you, you know, I don't we were know. talking about it beforehand. You're just happy to get these ladies back. Yeah. Because now 
you can get the full team. Now there's no excuse. Now it really comes down to coaching to put your players in the best position That's right. to, to win. So, Coach Miller, it's on you. Get no, right. Chanae still ain't back. We ain't talking about my favorite. Oh, yeah, we let you fan four to six weeks, you yes. know. But. She out four to six weeks, but her presence too, that same tall aggressiveness that yeah. you're looking for in Ray, mm -hmm. that was Chanae's spot. Mm -hmm. We missing her. Because so. remember, that last game she was on the court, it was that game against Dallas at home, which they won, yeah. and it was off her, her great play and her defense in the she fourth She can court. play defense. No, she's a missing piece, of course, because – you like he like coach always talks about that four headed monster with Azare, Neca, Dierica, and Chene. So of course you miss her. Mm -hmm. But I think what they really been missing this entire season was good guard play. Yeah. You've been dependent on Destiny, who's no longer with the team. Zaya Cook, who, you know, rookie. You Can't need help more it. four uh, minutes more tonight and Zaya. zero points. Yeah. The tenth overall pick. Um, you know, a player who's played in big nothing's as big as playing all those minutes. In college basketball, with one of the best teams ever, with South Carolina, so she just has to give you more. But I don't know if it's a confidence thing because of herself, or is it a confidence thing because of coaching, knowing that if I don't make shots, I'm not going to play. Like we wouldn't know this, you know. But well, I just I, wonder. Know, we want to see more from her. One, one thing, real quick. I, I wonder if her relationship with coach is something similar to the relationship that Lexi had with Coach when Lexi was a rookie. I remember I brought that story up oh, last yeah, time yeah, that yeah. she talked mm -hmm. about that. So I wonder if Coach maybe has been, and, you know, Coach is always talking very highly of her, positive of her, saying that she, you know, she's always in the gym, she's working hard, uh, she's a great listener out there. But even though when, I guess, she talked about herself that she's had those nights that she's in her head, in yeah. her, within herself. So I feel like it's very difficult. I guess at the end of the day, it might be confidence. The confidence yeah. I think it's harder for guards to adjust coming into the WNBA. Yeah. It's just harder because the guard play is yeah, very player, competitive. Top, yes. I mean, you're talking about Olympic level guard play. So though she had all those minutes in college, yeah. it's so very different to competing. And then you got to play against bigger guards and play against girls like Asia. Who right. they? I mean, we, we saw how many block shots are out there. So oh, yeah. coming <laughs> and doing that little swoop whoop that you used to do in college just ain't gonna hit it yeah. no more. Yeah, and, she's playing Lloyd Tarazi and that's come a, on, it's man, a how you gonna lock up D? Yeah. Diana Taraz. <laughs> like Diana Taraz. So that's why I'm hoping that, you know, they can, like, today, five minutes. She needs some more minutes because she's just going to have to learn on the job, you know. Now yeah. you're happy that Lasia, Lexi you is need back. The, we needed to win. We need to experiment today. No, yeah. We but to. on the bench, you got to play You got to play those young players because, you know, uh, they, they have to. They've been else. playing. We was the, Everybody was hurt, and they was playing. We saw what happened. And yeah. now our people back, so I'm glad they got their minutes. So I'm hoping that now she can fit more of that role, like, Lasia, Jordan, Lexi, Lee. you guys are the players. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to just, whatever I come in and give is is good, you know. I'm a freshman. Yeah, so yeah. hopefully she can get some of that experience, uh, you know, with these ladies back. And, you know, they can figure it out. But they have to get a victory to end this uh, this losing streak. So hopefully next next game they're next on the court. Game. We saw, you know, hopefully they can bring this energy from the second half. I think it, they game. will. And this is the team they'll be, that we they'll, get They'll be motivated forward. moving yeah. forward, I think, yeah. after this last year. I think, too, Fredo, you brought up a good point. This is the f one of the first games that we saw L.A. outscore the other opposing team three-point three point, per yes. percentage. Yeah. Okay. So we outscored, what, Minnesota was at 26%, L.A. was at 33%. Which isn't good by any means, but it's mm -hmm. like being at the top of the bottom. You feel mm -hmm. me? It's like mm -hmm. we're doing better than we've been doing. So that's something that with those guards being in, we already saw a positive yeah. impact in the game. And it's going to be about getting stops. You know, it I is. Just, they have to really figure it out defensively. Like I said it before, last year there was the last two years they were such a great defensive team, terrible offensively under Coach Fisher. Uh, but now they can't play defense. You know, yeah. you give up 28 in the quarter. You get up, what, seven points in the fourth. You're thinking to yourself, we got this game. Yeah. Let's just get these stops. Even if we don't score, we got it. But then they give up bucket after bucket, and they get a, a loss. So, uh, tough. Tough, tough, tough. Definitely, yeah. It was a tough loss. But today we uh, we do have uh, Leisha Clarendon, who will be joining us here on LA Sparks Weekly in a few seconds as she's getting settled in here. Um, it's gonna be very interesting just to kind of hear back from Clarity and she's leather or not leather. Okay. Do you guys want to start with Lasia uh, Rashawn and then we'll go with Amani? Hello, hello. Hey, Lasia. Hi. Uh, this wondering how, how it, Coach said you're on a bit of a minutes restriction. Just want to know how, how you felt uh, during the game and how coming out. How I felt? 
Yeah, Kurt said you you were on a bit of a minutes restriction tonight. Just wondered how you felt during the game and and now uh, after the game. How do you feel coming out of it physically? Um, physically, I felt pretty good. Just getting my win back. Um, that was probably maybe the, the hardest part of feeling that little bit of chest burn. Um, when I played, I think a five or seven minute stretch. But other than that, um, I felt really good up there. And then Lexi, you were able to practice a couple times with the team. We're just wondering. Uh, just from a conditioning standpoint, how much or what were you able to do when you were away? Um, nothing. I was literally in bed for four weeks, probably. Um, the first time I was able to really touch a basketball was this past Friday. Um, so I was in the gym, actually Thursday. So Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, I was in workouts and trying to get my win back, trying to get a little bit of my touch back and then hopped in practice on uh, Tuesday. Um, but my win feels great. I mean, it's actually surprised me a little bit how, how good I felt out there, but I mean, I was playing a few games before I, I came out feeling a little sick. So, you know, it's just nice to be out there like myself and healthy. Thank you. Amani Wright. Hi, Amani Wright with Winsider. This question's for the both of you. Um, you guys talked about your conditioning and how you were in shape. Um, how do you think your guys' rehab or time in the gym contributed to that at all? A lot. I mean, when you're out, you're, I mean, Lex was sick, so that's a different thing, but I was working my ass off, like, you know, doing all the rehab and um, conditioning and things I could do, you know, in the boot. Um, so it definitely helps. Nutrition helps. All those little things that you do for your recovery, like, definitely affect your ability to get back out there. So when you're out with an injury, it's never just, like, chilling or listening. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's a lot of work that goes into it behind the scenes yeah for me I was just sick so I was in the bed I didn't really leave my house much um but I had a, an infection and I and I had uh antibiotics really strong ones got that got that shit out of my body and now I feel I feel good so you know I was feeling not well and now I'm feeling healthy so it's it's like I said it's nice to be able to go out there and just feel like myself um, and not play with any pain or discomfort or anything like that. So I'm just happy to be out here. You know, this is a process. I'm glad to just back to, um, you know, we're going to get there. We're going to get there. Mm -hmm. Let's go with Infanity TV, please. Hey, Lexi and Leisha, DJ Treacy Treese, Infanity TV. A quick question um, about the field goal percentages. You were greatly missed uh, while you were out in terms of the field goal percentages and three-pointers. How did you feel tonight, and what was the strategy going into the game against Minnesota um, when you have a strong shooter like Nafisa Collier? Mm, I mean, we knew that Fee was going to get some shots up. Kurt told us at the of the game that we either get her point total down or get her efficiency down. And I think that we did a little bit of both, but, you know, she made that really big bucket at the end of the game. Uh, you know, she's just a great player overall. We ended up out shooting them from the three. I mean, I think that we can still, uh, you know, shoot at a higher clip from the three-point line, you know, between me, Leigh, Carly, Azare, like Jordan's shooting the ball well. Zaya has, you know, the potential to be a, a really good knockdown three-point shooter, but, um, you know, I think Fee, I mean, Fee didn't beat us today. Um, you know, that team is a great team. And, and they, they had some rookie step up big for them too. Awesome. Thank you so much. Thanks, everybody. See, see you in Dallas. All righty. Okay, uh, I was wrong. Let me start off by saying I was wrong. We're going to have to run the tape back because I said we got, did I say on already that we got beat by Nafisa? Yeah, yeah, and Lexi corrected me. She said they did not get beat by Nafisa. So from they lost, hey, they lost this game. They, they, <laughs> right, they came back. They were up seven points in the fourth quarter. If after seeing that second quarter, I was like, oh, it's over. It's a blowout. Then you saw the comeback and was like, whoa, they're there. They lost this game. They let one slip away, which is tough, especially with the position that they're in. They did a they did a good job on the other team's best player, but they didn't finish the way that, you know, they're yeah. expected to finish. So it was kind of tough because of the minutes restriction for those the two ladies there. Uh, but once they get themselves together, um, maybe it won't be the next game, but in a couple games from now, that's when we're going to see the, the real Sparks team. Yeah, I think that th the field goal percentage and the three-point percentage attempts and, like, it's going in the positive direction is the smoking gun in this whole mystery. Because if we start to shoot better, then we'll get better over time. 
You know what I mean? Like, yeah. I think the points will come. The defense will get better. Yeah. I, I just think that that is the the, the hope for me. Yeah, and uh, we, we got more to talk about. <laughs> uh, don't go anywhere. We have more Sparks basketball to talk about. After their tough loss against the Minnesota Lynx, 73-70. We will be back after this commercial. A podcast for the fans, by the fans. Dive deep into the topics the other shows miss, raw and uncensored. And he's going to play team ball. His legacy is at stake. Rare, hard-hitting interviews with players, coaches, and you, the super fans. I'm not hating. I'm like, okay, cool. Three championships in five years. He's more than good, bro. Profanity Nation. Listen live or subscribe on your favorite podcast platform. Powered by Jesse Brown of Keller Williams. United One Protection Services. With over 30 years of experience, United One Protection Services has more expertise and knowledge than the other security companies combined. Residential, commercial, municipal, or institutional, United One Protection Services does more than just security. We protect your livelihood. United One Protection Services. Welcome back to the L.A. Sparks Weekly Post Game Show, y'all. It's DJ Treacy Treese. I am joined by Michael and Fredo. And before the break, we were just talking about that shot at the end of the game yes. where you wanted we down by three. NECA has the ball in her hand, but we saw that they were going for Lexi. What do you think uh, the, the team was feeling when they, when they noticed that Lexi wasn't available there and they had to go with another option? Somebody had to step up, and, you know, it's, it's NECA. That's your it's, all-star. It's all-star. She get a chance to put a shot up. But, you know, you you hope that Lasia can be in the game late in the game uh, next time. And then, you know, more run that her and Lexi can get. One of those two players have the ball in their yep. hand. You know, unless you're down two, then you can do some pick-and-roll action to try to see if you can get an open shot or get NECA on a roll. But, yeah, they, they did. Minnesota did a great job of yep. keeping Lexi – away from the ball, forcing NECA to have to make a tough shot. And it was a shot that looked like she could have made. She could have made. That, it, hit, it hit rim, but yeah. also, too, I think Carly, they could have came off the screen with Carly. That's what I thought Kirk was going to draw up. Mm. But Carly traveled yeah. <laughs> a couple possessions before that, and he was like, hell no. Nah, yeah, that, 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 that was a that crucial was mistake there. Yeah. But it's because she jumped before she do that shot. She got that yeah. little jump set up. And, and plus, it just, yeah, her, sh- her shot is a little slower. She can't really do much off the dribble. So it makes it tough. That's why I say give minutes to players who can, you know, do exactly that. But it was just a tough, tough loss. It was loss. a tough loss. You know, a tough loss. Um, if Minnesota's been having their team, and that's why Minnesota's yeah. kind of making a run a little bit up to standings. But it's a loss that you learn from. Like I said, whatever they did in that second half, I will, I will take that second quarter <laughs> tape, throw that in the trash. <laughs> yeah. I'm looking at first quarter, and I'm looking at uh, third, third and fourth. fourth. And like, yeah. What did, did we do? To make things happen, let's mess it up. The lineups that we need to play, how we need to play, and that's what I think that can lead them to their first victory in the last seven, eight games. Yeah, because yeah, that, that's been pretty bad and awful. But one of the things that we saw, and I feel like I, I mentioned this early on in the season, is the, when De'Erik and Hamby plays great, we can really make this team stand out. Because yep. if Hamby is good, Azuri is good, and we know NECA, we know Jordan, we know now that Lexi's back, they're going to be typically themselves. But those other players around them, that fifth, sixth, seventh player of that team, when they play good, the whole team is good. Yep. Coaching, that's where that's going to have to come in. Yeah. You're going to now have to, have to decide on which rotations you want to use. Yeah. You know, one of the things that Coach talked about during the press conference yesterday, he mentioned, he's like, look, now I got a lot of my players back. I'm so excited to play with so many different lineups. He's yep. like, there's been... Two lineups that I loved, and he's like, all season long, I've only had these lineups for a combined of like five, six minutes. 
So how many <laughs> minutes have gone on through the whole WNBA yeah. season? Yeah. Lots of minutes. And he's like, my favorite lineups, I've only used them for four to five, six minutes. You need a new favorite long. lineup. So, you cannot you know, have that be your favorite lineup. So I, I even asked him, I was like, coach, like, what's what's the more favorite lineup that you like? What are you most looking for? He didn't give a specific one out there, but he was like, well, I'm just happy to have more players to play with and to use out yes, on the more court. than seven people. Uh, more. So that's that was a big right. factor there. And hopefully, hopefully, De'Erica – like you say, she goes to the bench as Ray steps up and be the yep. starting center, be yep. the starting four fifth uh, person that can really give that back because she also can stretch the floor. Not saying that yeah. Erica can't, but Azra really could. Um, it's almost like mm-hmm. it's like Azra can't comfortably comfortably pay, play the four because. Dierica ain't really the five. You feel me? Like right. yeah, you, yeah. she got to kind of play that flex because we again missing Shanae. I hate to keep talking about that, but that's a great defensive player who can play the five, and you know she gonna get up there and go after that ball. Yeah, you know Shanae ain't gonna she gonna block mm-hmm. that ball. And not to say that Dierica is not gonna do those same things. It just hasn't been consistent enough for us to be able to predict it. So they're gonna figure out Saturday. They're gonna be playing against the. Um, Dallas, 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 in Dallas. Dallas has won four straight games, even picking up a victory Ooh. against the Aces and Liberty within that stretch. I'm hoping they have an off game. Last time they played the Lynx, y'all know how much they won by? 40 points! <laughs> oh, wow. 107-67. Woo-wee. So uh, I know it's a team that the Sparks haven't lost to this season. Yeah. So, you know, it's all about matchups in the game of basketball. But yeah. uh, what, what do you hope to see in this matchup, Fredo, when it comes to uh, Sparks being at Dallas. I, I remember watching the two victories they played against Dallas, and mm-hmm. what, one thing they were able to do is held everybody else besides Enrique. Oh, they held them to a pretty good, decent, non-career night. Yes. So we yeah. know we see the Sparks <laughs> give away a lot of career nights. Like today, someone got a career night on the sit. It's, it's just like, random It's always stuff. somebody. And, you know, Enrique was able to put her numbers up to pat those two games. I remember it was a Friday night and a Sunday afternoon prime time. So it was in two games and three nights, took care of business, but very effective. Shanae was very great in those two games right there. Yep. That was the, act- the last game Shanae actually played on yeah. that Sunday afternoon against Dallas. She can so scrap. As yeah. long as they can... Let Enrique do her thing and ho- hold everybody else to their limits. Yeah. They will be able to get So get just to let you guys know out there, the Sparks are 3-0 and against the Dallas Wings. 79-61, they won um, June 14th. Wow. I'm looking okay. at 76-74 when they played back-to-back games uh, there in Dallas. And then 93-83, the last time the two teams matched up. So I think that's a team that the ladies feel like, hey, we can beat them. Coach Miller feel like we can beat them. Like you said, Enrique's going to get buckets. That's she going to get do. buckets. But yeah. I got a strategy. My strategy is you have to get Satu in foul trouble fast. Okay. Okay? Because Satu is a scorer. She's yes. a big. She has that Ray Burrell factor that you be talking about. You yep. know what I mean? She's a big athletic player who can kind of spread the floor and get some shots and make all these stops. So you need Satu to have at least three fouls by halftime because then she starts to play a little bit more frustrated. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and then Arike is doing all yeah. of this, and she ain't really got nobody to pass it to. So if you can lock down, like you said, Arike, lock her down as much as you can. That's like talking yeah. about, like, Locking down Kyrie. It's yes. not happening. You know what I mean? So it locked it, lock her and uh, Satu down, and then we can compete. The last time they played, they were able to score 93 points, 27 from NECA, 17 Ooh-wee. from uh, Dierica. It was just, you know, everybody, they were scoring. You yeah. Know, 93 points, nearly scored 100. So it was a very up tempo. I think it actually fits what they want to do now. Exactly. More, with their with guards Lexi. back. So. You're hoping that, you know, Lexi is going to be ready to go because that matchup with Enrique is going to be a really good one. That Lasia is ready to go because this can be an up-tempo game where a lot of points are scored. So it's going to come down to NECA clearly having to be the best player down low, yep. dominating down low. And it's then, consistent. you know, the, the guards yep. knocking down shots because this is a big game that they need to win. Yep. They can sweep Dallas, who's in front of them in the standings. Before they have two favorable matchups in the back-to-back games versus yep. the uh, Indiana Fever. Yeah, that's gonna be that's gonna be nice. But one mm-hmm. thing I did want to say, I know uh, I don't, um, not sure how much time we got left, but player of the game. Oh, oh player yeah. of the game. I almost forgot about that, and I feel like we <laughs> we I think we all might have a different player of the game. So I Tell think for better. today. Let's go ahead and just every one of us is going to throw out their player of the game and see who it is. And we'll go ahead and um, I'll start it off while you guys both check it out. But okay. honestly, I think tonight um, it has to be Jordan Canada. 
I think Jordan Canada led the team tonight with 35 minutes played. Uh, she scored 12 points, seven rebounds, and yeah, eight assists. Big. You mm -hmm. know, almost close to a triple double, but her defense is amazing. Her her leadership out on the floor is always great, and I feel like she's always pretty much consistent, to, you know, right behind Neka Gumiki. But yeah. I got to give a shout out to Jordan Canada, and especially you know I love my UCLA people. Yeah. <laughs> Mine's is easy though, Lexi Brown. Yeah. Easily Lexi, Lexi was Brown. Able to catch I want to give it to her too, but I'm like, <laughs> yeah. yeah. She caught you fire in the second half. She was what three for six from three, uh, knocking yes. down some big shots. You saw, you know, that all and a short potential. sample piece. Yeah. yeah, short sample piece. Um, so. That's why you see why the team missed her so much. Why we were on this show screaming out, "Where is Lexi, Lexi Brown? Brown?" She said she was dealing with an infection. I right. see that, so, and now yeah. that that makes her my player of the game even more. After okay. talking to her in the press conference yeah. and finding out she's been laying in the bed on antibiotics and came out and touched the ball Friday, yeah. and now she balling like that. <laughs> Come on, be for real. So that's but a that's a true baller game. right there. Yeah, that's, that's a true baller. That's, 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 that's a Kobe move. And for the Sparks to make it to the playoffs and make a run, you know, to the playoffs. It's Neca's going to be who she is. That's why I feel like they should build an offense through the guards because Neca is a la Tim Duncan with the Spurs. Yep. Where you don't really have to write job too much. Once they get the ball, tell them to work. But you have to figure out how to get the most out of your wing players. And with Lexi back, if she can look like that borderline all-star that she was looking like earlier, yep. they should be in that safe wing that can knock down shots, play Fast. Back, things like that. With the way Jordan is playing, doing everything – the Sparks can make a run, and it's going to start Saturday night. That's what Woo! I like to hear. That was the pep talk I was waiting yeah. for. You know what I mean? But yeah. you kept raining on my parade talking about <laughs> Ray Burrell. Man, because she needs to play. Ray needs to be getting her burn, getting her minutes. Coach even said that she brings energy, rebounds. She can knock down a three. She can run the floor and get you a layup. She can do a lot that this team needs. You know who else, though? You know? who else? And there was one thing that she even she spotted out. That I don't know if you guys caught that. I'm sure you did. Lexi Brown said something about Zaya. Yeah. She said yeah. that, you know, she, Zaya could potentially be a great three point shooter. Yeah. yeah. And, you know, with only playing four minutes after an all star break for yeah. a rookie, mm -hmm. I mean, yeah. her legs are maybe fresher than anybody else in this team. And she was the only one who played every single game this season. Yeah. yeah. So, I mean, I think she, she probably needs more tired. than four minutes. But she yeah, probably just tired. coming off the NCAA, you know, season. Yeah, I mean, she was in she, Vegas all weekend long over there hanging out with the girls. Drama, nah, yeah, yeah. She so, could sit home and she was tired. But <laughs> hey, they, they need some some good minutes from her. Like, yeah. Zaya is a key piece because they don't have Destiny anymore, you know, so. Yeah. I know, man. Shout out to Destiny Anderson, man, because. I, I said yeah, this. Henny, I, Henny I said this in a tweet the other day. I was like, man, it, those two wins that the Sparks got against Dallas came behind Destiny Henderson's yeah, energy and shot. Yeah, those it's two games good. became because, and she because fast. of her. She created yeah. that offensive push that we needed. And now that we got Laisha back, I think that's where they were yeah. like, all right, cool. WNBA, we need more roster spots for these for girls, real. man. There's no reason a player like Destiny should not be on a team. We have to figure out something somehow, some way. Yeah. yeah. So right now, you know, we're about to go ahead and end this amazing Alley Sparks weekly post game show. Um, but DJ, last minute thoughts before we get going here. Last minute thoughts. I'm excited to see the next game and see what they do in Dallas. I think that we can pull off that win. But if not, we got two guaranteed wins coming through. Hopefully. I hope. I hope. I hope. Hopefully. It'll be good to see Aaliyah Boston in person. Are, are you the Charles Barkley. This? <laughs> don't, don't, let her, don't let Aaliyah see this and be like, game yeah, yeah, game on. on. Uh, I mean, Dierka needs to lock up Aaliyah Boston if she can. Do that, then we straight. Hey, just like that, the great owner of the, the Raiders said back in the day, just win, baby. <laughs> That's what they have to find a way to do Saturday night. And I think things will be all right. Well, I hope things are all right, and I hope Michael's right. I hope DJ's <laughs> right, because I want to see some LA Sparks playoffs basketball. That's yep. what we all want to see here in Los Angeles. Um, and hopefully, hopefully we get that opportunity. We will be back on Saturday night here live from the Infinity Studios to go ahead and give you the amazing post-game coverage from the Dallas Wings and the LA Sparks. Myself, Fredo Cervantes, DJ, Michael. We'll see you guys Saturday night.